Prism investigation is still focusing on the city of Warwick, one particular neighborhood this noon hour. Thank you for joining us today on NBC 10 News at Noon. It appears the investigation might be linked to a plot to behead police officers. That's according to the Boston Globe. Boston police and the FBI are expected to hold a news conference shortly. If the news conference begins during this half hour, we'll try and bring at least part of it to you during the newscast. In the meantime, the search in Warwick started yesterday after a suspected member of the ISIS terrorist group was shot and killed in Boston, and another man was arrested in Everett. NBC 10 Sierra Putman is in Warwick this noon hour with the latest Sierra. That's right, Frank. We're live here at the corner of Shadbush and Aspinet Drive in Warwick. Just take a look behind me. You can see that state police are blocking off part of the roadway. At the other entrance, Warwick police are doing the same as a joint terrorism task force searches a home connected to this terrorism plot. Scary. Real scary. The wife came home and uh, said, lock all the doors. We got a German shepherd, but it's still spooky. You know, somebody sneaking around. John Tella is one of many neighbors in the Governor Francis Farms Warwick neighborhood, unnerved by the sight of local, state police, and the FBI. The search is connected to the fatal shooting of Usama Rahim. Police say they shot and killed Rahim after he charged at police with this knife. The Boston Globe reports Rahim and David Wright, who was arrested in Everett Tuesday, were part of a plot to behead police. NBC 10 learned police believe this home in Warwick might also be linked to suspected terrorist plot. Neighbors say 167 Aspinet Drive is a little run down. According to the city's tax assessment website, it's owned by a Lori Ravinsky, but NBC 10 learned law enforcement are looking for a male in his 20s who recently converted to Islam. But I've seen him four, five, six times. He comes by uh, usually walking. He's got a slight limp. He's probably about 5'10" real skinny. I think he's growing a beard. He's got uh, always dark clothing on. Yeah, I mean, he looks really out of place. You know, I don't, he never said anything. State police Stephen O'Donnell about the situation. And Frank, uh, local police as well as state police are working with the FBI as part of this terrorism investigation. Reporting live in Warwick, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.